it's also a bit bit odd because um, one of my classes that I do, my yeah. Friday class, I had 151 people watch it. Wow. So, um, wow. but I don't, you know, obviously. Uh, yeah. The group of this um, engineering uh, yeah. society in Cambridge that I've uh, been involved with, uh, when we went into lockdown, we, we had live lectures and we used to yeah. get sort of 60 or 70 people there. Yeah. And we were getting sort of two or three hundred from all over the world. Yeah, that's we, right, yeah. You know, we're sort of, oh, here's one from India, and here's a Canada one. And, uh, oh, I've got another one. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I'll take the... Uh, it's, uh, well, that's exciting, isn't it? Mute all. Okay, there's two. Right, so... I've put all the heating on that I can leave, <laughs> and that's I'm okay. really glad yeah. I'm not. Um... We went uh, down on Friday, the Thursday rather, um, at Anglesey Abbey. Oh, um, lovely! Which is um, they've got uh, their decoration. Uh, Trish is uh, yeah. normally a, a room guide down there. You know, yeah, and that's right. And, uh, they get a sort of a look back. Have you seen they have this thing called the Winter Lights? Yes, that's yeah. right. And yeah. uh, we went down to see a preview of that there, which is very good. You know, yeah. They go all different parts, lit up in different uh, Yeah, uh, they colours, do a good job of it. And the house is all a big sort of video screen going on yeah. there. Yeah. Very, very good. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it looks very wintry now. I mean, the, yes, uh, it definitely is. Yes. Yeah. So but, it's uh, nice and... Nice and uh, a friend of us rang up from... Nice um, sort of send message from South Yorkshire or Yorkshire, <coughs> rather. Yeah. And it wasn't too bad up there, it was only up in the felt. You know, the, uh, the main for the roads themselves were fine. It just seems to be us, a lot of the South East that's got it. Yeah, yeah which is yeah. unusual. So, uh, just sink the hips back and down, right. everyone, yeah. and just soften the knees. Have the yes. knees pointing where the toes are pointing. We're just going to. Yeah. So, in this sort of cold weather, what's really important is that we have a really long. Uh, warm up and yes. that all our joints yes. are yes. comfortable. And uh, yeah, it was quite fun. Um, I did some Tai Chi in the snow this morning. Yeah, oh, yes. oh, it was brilliant, really, really good. Yes. You could hear it crunching, I could hear okay. it crunching under yes. feet. So, yeah. if you've got the right footwear on, it's good to practice out in the snow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, um, I shall be doing that later. I'll turn all these back down to. Um, Two later, but I've just contacted the people that run the hall right. to say that I'm I won't be here this evening because of the sure, snow. So sure, sure. hopefully I won't. Uh, Do you have another one during the day? Yeah, I t I'm teaching the Barton WI after this. So what I do is I go to Mike's online class. He teaches yeah. an online class, right. and then um, and then I drive over to Barton. So okay. I. Okay. He teaches a class 12.30 to 1.30, okay. but okay. because of the snow, I'm going to have to leave at 20 past, right. so right. I won't get to go to all right. of it. Right. But, um, <laughs> Last Saturday, we had, uh, I think I told you we go to this music workshop on a Saturday morning. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and, uh, what's it called? plays a, a clarinet, and I do my baritone horn. And my yeah. Own. So we have a, um, a sort of a wind band, which is sort of a motley <laughs> collection of clarinets and uh, saxophones and, and tuba and, what, and a few flutes and what have you, which is good fun. Um, and then they have the training orchestra. Um, uh, they, we did several of the carols, and, uh, oh, and that was good. The, uh, uh, then they had a sort of a carol concert at the end of it, which is great fun. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's really snow in London yesterday, you don't yeah. even see it, yeah. and it was got very thick, um, yeah. but it's, it was uh, melted a bit this morning, yes. so okay. isn't that? Good. Yeah. I mean I was expecting my car to be more covered, but it yes. wasn't, so. yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was a balmy one degrees, <laughs> yes. Yes. that's right, yeah, yeah. Yes. So, yeah it's just um, the, cold, the cold weather, it does do things to your muscles and yeah. your joints, so it, it's good just to ease us in gently yes. and we're all breathing <laughs> right. you say in 
love to know Christmas? Uh, no, uh, a bit, and also I'll be um, one of my friends uh, that has very big houses. I'll be looking. I'll be cat sitting okay. as well. Okay. Both, um, yeah, because they're away, yeah. and I, I'm I'm their their first choice <laughs> cat sitter because we get on. Me and this cat get on quite you get well. On well with the cat. Yeah, we yeah, get on well, so yeah. it's it's fine. Very good. It, it saves me having to book somewhere to go on holiday. I can just go. This is one of these cats that says you sit down and leave some lap. No, no, no. Yeah, she's yeah. very independent. She's quite strange, but we 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 come to an accommodation. Yeah, so. yeah. So nice and tall, and we just. <coughs> well, that's good. I only need to get another chair out, and that's all of them. Fantastic. Okay. So, um, yeah, we're not going on too long today because it's freezing and we'll be warming up our bodies with a nice cup of tea. Oh, I've got some instant hot chocolate as oh, well. I've got oh, some oh, of that. Right. I, I've left it in the car. I'll go and grab that at the end. Right. So, yeah, just let your arms relax. And we're all breathing. And we're just, just get nice and tall. This is very good, getting nice and tall and having good yeah. posture. Yeah. Very yeah, good for yeah, for brass sleep, for yeah. brass playing because yeah. when you when you're playing, especially if you're doing yes. your carol yes. um, carol playing, yes, um, you want to have a good posture. I mean, yes. I I, um, yes. I had the pleasure of um, a real principal trombonist in my right. class right. a couple of Fridays ago when I was in Glasgow. Yes, and her posture was excellent. Yes. And when she plays her trombone, it was very. Yes. She's yes. quite small. But yes. she doesn't look small because she's yeah. got good posture, so she looks taller than she is. That's right. And um, That's really, really good. And also for breathing, if you've got a good posture yes. and you're correctly aligned, so this bit yes. sits. Yes. That's right. And then this bit will float up by itself almost. Yeah. And you've got like what, what you'd call a good, uh, if you're a one year old, this is how you'd have normally stood yeah. anyway. Yes. Like yes. between one and yes. two. Yes. Yes. They've got this sort of way of standing and they're right. looking yeah. and they're taking everything in. Yes. And it's yes. right. yeah. the, the idea is we're like that. So we've got good posture. We're all nicely lined up. We're taking everything in, except we haven't got the tantrums. That's the difference. And also <laughs> we can we can be more um, discerning. Yes. So yes. we, you can be yeah, discerning yeah, yeah. and... You can determine how you do it, uh, whereas the kids necessarily, don't necessarily have that determination. They're doing it naturally. Yes. They're doing it naturally, but they haven't got the... Um, uh, in one of the moves, you, they haven't got quite the emotional no, no, development. No, no, but no. the posture's good. Yes. So the physical, mental dexterity to do it, there, whereas we have to work at it, really. Well, yeah. Well. Yeah, whereas we've got the physical and mental, we've yes, got the dexterity yes, yes. and the emotional dexterity, yeah. but we haven't quite, because yeah. of life getting in the way, you kind of yeah. lose yeah. the posture. Yeah. So, that, like when somebody says they've got bad posture, actually what they mean is they've developed unhelpful postural habits. Yes. Because yes. it's, it's habits. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and by working on your habits, and creating new ones like exercising every day and just thinking thinking out how you move because like when you're playing was it the what was the baritone horn baritone horn yeah, baritone yeah. horn yeah when you're playing the baritone horn you you want to play it with the whole of your body so when you're doing the breathing yes. when you're noticing your breath coming in and out you want to feel how it affects the rest yeah, of the body and yeah. you really want to feel grounded because yes, I, I was I'm, particularly I'm, Impressed with her principal trombone lady, Kaneko, yeah. uh, her name is. Uh, she um, just how grounded she was, and at one point she did a little piece that she conducted yeah, okay. yes, with the yes. orchestra, and just her kind of composure and the way, very connected when she moved. Yes, yes. And um, yeah. it's good, it's good because it, it works. You play your yeah. instrument better. Sure, that's right. My teacher was probably saying, uh, sit up right. Feet down the floor. Oh, okay. Push yeah. uh, when you're leaving that extra bit of air. Push down. Push. Get rid of the push. Yeah. yeah. Now my singing teacher says the same thing. Yeah, when see. when you want to get the high notes, yeah, you right. want to go down. And uh, this only recently I've really been able to get the embouchure to get right up to my top notes, top which a, is uh, yeah. you know, it's a top A. Top A. Right. But um, it's not about it's not about 
two octaves. Yeah, we're, so we'll just sink the hips and relax the shoulders. Yeah. But yeah, more and more, like, I mean, you'll notice, um, like, people talking on television, they'll be interviewing mm -hmm. a politician, yeah. and they'll be standing like that with the knees really yes. stiff. And, the, and, and, and you just think, that's just terrible. So, well, at least I do. Um, now, I, uh, I was working in... Um, the dementia place a few weeks ago, and they oh, were yeah. doing the BBC choir, choir, cult, choir singer, choir boy of the year. Yes. And I was particularly impressed. All of them had very good posture. Okay. All of them. Good. Yeah, it was very. It, it wasn't paid because a, a lot of things you watch musicians playing, or yeah. at least I'll watch them, and I'm going because they, they're doing themselves some damage. <laughs> so, um, well, it should be warming up. Yeah, I bought this too. Because it was wide open and it was freezing cold in oh, here, but right. I'm glad yes. I got here yes. early. So yes. we've at least warming yes. up a bit. Yes. So let's just very gently float the arms up and just open, open the chest. We're just breathing. Oh, great. So I think playing brass instruments and wind instruments is probably mm. similar, although you've got your embouchures. But apart from that, there's probably similar requirements in terms of breath control sure, from sure, singing. Sure, sure, um, sure. I think so. There seems yeah. to be, there, there, there's a friend of mine who plays trumpet and he's a very accomplished singer. And I've been noticing there's a lot yeah, of similarities. Yeah, yeah. So it's, um, yeah, that's it. So what we're doing is we just let the muscles relax and letting the soft tissues soften. I've got loads of layers on. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> well, the guy on the radio said wear lots of layers rather than a big thick yeah, coat. Yeah, sure. yeah, so yeah, I was like, okay, yes, but yes. I have actually got a big thick coat. Right, yeah, yeah. It's, good. it's really good. Yeah, it was good. It's what I went to uh, when I was in Sweden. So we're nice and, and tall and just check your posture again. And we'll just spend a bit of time on the feet. So wiggle the toes mm -hmm. and then draw the toes in, stretch the toes out. 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 So again, I'm taking part in the Healthy You Festival. So I've got to do a half hour. Okay. I'm gonna, uh, what I'm gonna do, because I've just, I'm just doing one slot. Right. So I'm gonna do a, a class about balance. When's that? That will be online, it's in January. It's okay. um, all the, the whole month of January. Okay. And it's all different sports that the council okay. do. Okay. I'll send you the, because you sent me the email. See, yeah, yeah. 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 Sorry, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll send you the stuff about that, because okay. it should Thank be you. really good. Yeah. I mean, they've yeah, got yeah, all yeah, sorts sure, of different sure. people involved. Um, okay. I know Mike's um, doing a class this year okay. as okay. well. Um, yeah. But I just thought I'd do something specific on. Where's that place? It'll be online, so yes. it's all over, it's county-wide, oh, okay. wide yeah, yeah, so yeah. some some face-to-face yeah. -face classes, some online classes, okay. some Zoom classes, mm -hmm. some pre-recorded, so I'm, okay. I'm part of the okay. pre-recorded. Okay. Last time I did about three or four face-to-face -face classes, okay. which was quite good. Oh, not face-to-face, -face, Zoom classes. Yeah. Very, very good. So um, we're just wiggling the toes, drawing in, stretching out, and then just very gently rock forwards and back. I'll just, uh, so by spending time actually in your feet, it just helps improving the balance. Mm. And also you want to relax around the ankles <coughs> and lengthen through the spine. So you think when, when I've done this with Corella and Eva, the head is floating mm. and the hips are sinking. So it's, it's quite different to, I mean, I go to some regular exercise classes. I go, I like to go to Leslie's Keep Fit class on a Thursday okay, night, yeah, yeah. some Tai Chi. And that's really good too. Okay. Um, but Tai Chi is quite different in the, just the level of attention to detail okay. and, and okay. focus. Yeah. So you, while you're doing this, you want to really listen to your feet. So another thing I was noticing people mm. walking in the snow, and a lot of them would be doing this. Yes. But actually, the problem is by doing that, you're putting your posture, it, you're putting your central balance in a dangerous position. 
Whereas if you're like that, yes. and you're feeling what you can feel under your feet, yeah. and sinking your hips, with your hips up, the more stable you are, okay. balance wise. So even if you do, you know, you can get it back. And um, maybe go a little bit slower. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. You know, there's, there's um, I mean, at least with the snow, if you fall over in it, you're not going to get hurt because it's soft if it's, you know, yeah. thick snow. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, just, just, just getting, yeah, it's just a bit wet. Just, um, that's it. Now this time we come up on the toes and then slow descent. So just try that. Don't go up too 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 high, just a little bit. That's it. That's it. Three, four. Oh, that quite difficult. Yeah, it's a tricky one. That one's from ever. And then just go back to rocking forwards and back. I'm gonna move back. There's a sweetie on the floor. Yeah, they had a party, so I got a note that says a balloon there, there's a balloon there. Okay, and then just transfer the weight. Actually, take a slightly wider stance and just transfer your weight through one foot, transfer your weight through the other. Nice and relaxed. So eventually when you when you do this exercise, it's going from one foot to the other, it kind of makes its own natural rhythm. Right. That you, you kind of look into this nice natural rhythm. Really feel the feet. in a bit <coughs> so they're more shoulder width so I've got my super bright shoes on for the camera right. yeah because then what I'm noticing if I if I have two dull shoes on then the people on the computer after can't see what my feet oh, right. are doing whereas okay. if I've got bright shoes on <laughs> it seems to work better but <coughs> so nice and relaxed and we're just going to go round and round in a circle which I'm It's kind of floating. I'm not forcing the float. Right. I'm just allowing it to float up. Okay. So you're, the idea with the posture is it's not you're, you ease into the posture. Okay. Um, uh, so in the Tai Chi classics, um, uh, one of the translations. My favourite translation is one by Benjamin Lowe yeah. and friend. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, in the Tai Chi classics, there's a, 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 a sentence that says, "Move like a cat." Yes. Move yes, like a cat. Yes, cats yeah, yeah. have got very natural movement and look very connected when they move. So it's a bit like when you go into a posture, it's a bit like when you get a cat and it's sat on a cushion. Yes. And then before it, it, it will sit on the cushion and then it will kind of melt into the cushion. Yes. So the yes. idea is you want to melt into the correct alignment. So you're, you, you just kind of ease yourself in 
in a in a very relaxed, soft way, like what a cat would do. So when it says move like a cat, it also means yeah. have. My wife posted a t-shirt called labelled "Cat Aerobics," and there's this cat curled up, and it goes. <laughs> yeah. And straight back down again. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> cat Aerobics, exactly, yes. exactly. And then go around in the other direction. So uh, Sally Yoga that teaches in Burwell. Yes. yes. Um, Sally Lander, right? I knew for years I only knew of Sally Yoga. Yeah. Because that's all, you yeah, know. Yeah. Uh, but Sally Lander, she's got a cat that will, and in her Zoom classes, the cat will turn up sometimes. And, you so know, does it do the cat aerobics? It does its own version of cat yoga and it will kind of look better than all of us. So, um, so you want to, yeah, you want to connect through the body. Right. So you're breathing in and out. gentle so remember because it's cold your body you know you can wake it, it does yeah. it does affect how yeah. your body works yeah. sure. so you want to make sure you've got a nice warm up so let go between um, let go through the lower back So you, you have the palms. I'll make sure your palms. I can't get close up for people watching at home. So you've got big, uh, big space in the palms. You want to relax the wrists, and then just think of the the sensation right to the ends of the fingers, and and this big feeling, and then a kind of gentle curve along the arms, and then opening in the shoulder joint, opening in the shoulder joint. So, nice and tall, and uh, there we go. Yeah, I was the only person in my teacher's class, actually. There was there was a couple of people online, yes. and then just me on the Wednesday. It was brilliant, because... Yeah, it is, uh, it is. Are they far afield, your, your people who are online? Um, that, I'm not sure, I think, I think one of them, I think they're sort of Cambridgeshire based. Somewhere in Cambridgeshire. But yeah, yeah. Um, one of them, one of them now lives in Bury St Edmunds, I okay. think. So he can't come to the class anymore in person. So he comes in online. So it's, in it's person. not just Cambridgeshire. You can do Suffolk and more. Yeah, yeah. Depend. I mean, I um, in one of my classes for a while, I had someone coming in from Alaska. Um, <laughs> Which was very cool, and I also had someone coming in from London. Yeah. Uh, I've got a couple from London. I've got one person from Wales okay. who sometimes yeah. comes yeah. and she can get out of bed. Yeah. It's a bit yeah. early for her. Yeah. Uh, and then another uh, one of my uh, other students sometimes uh, comes from York, but then yeah. he got a new job. So. Um, right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's quite quite interesting. It it makes. Yeah, it makes things much more interesting having having the electronic element, and then I don't know where the hundred and fifty or people that watch my, yes. you know, I put it up on. It was my Friday class. I put it up on Sunday evening or yes, Saturday yes, evening, yes, and yes. then the next day I thought, oh, one hundred and fifty people have watched this. That was pretty good. How strange, yeah, you know? Yeah. And you just think. 
I guess there must be some people. So what, what I ought to do is have a little donations. Yes, yes. Thing. The, the, please give generously. <laughs> So you get this open feeling, I'll just show you from the diagonal, open feeling in the chest. It's quite a nice one, especially, you know, there's a lot of bad chests going on. We've got a couple of people off missing this morning because of chests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So just keep breathing. Yeah, you keep forgetting it's the sort of start of the flu season as well. Yes. Yeah, did, you had your jab though, didn't you? Oh, I had, yeah, I've had a flu jab and five COVID jabs. Yeah, well, I've only had four COVID jabs. Yeah. I've got flu to do, it's, but... Uh, it's, uh, um, yeah, they give, I think they're giving us all a, a, an annual COVID jab now. Yeah, so, yeah that yeah. seems sensible. Yeah, yeah. Because it will be, you know, I think this is it now. I think yeah, it's just yeah, yeah. now since, added part of our... Since we've had it, then you don't get it too bad if you do get it. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I, I had my third jab, yeah. and then I caught it after that. So yeah. that kind of counts as an organic jab, I guess. Yeah. And then that didn't last very long at all. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, I had it for like five or six days, and then I yeah. had about a week of feeling a bit yeah. tired, and then yeah. I was absolutely fine. So uh, four, okay. three, two, one, and then change. So one in front, one behind. But um, yeah, you've got to watch. I mean, now no one's wearing any masks and things. We're going to be catching all sorts now. Yes. It's fine. So nice and yes. relaxed. Yes, well, my daughter's in New Zealand. They tried to do a complete lockdown and yeah. stop everything coming into the country. And, and they started on vaccinations, but they, in the end, they realised they, they just couldn't stop the, the occasional outburst and what have you. And so they've opened up the country again. <laughs> yeah, I think so. And, and, and I think if, if you yeah. know, you've got the choice of a vaccination for people that want it and you yeah. get most of them done and I think we're probably okay yeah, yeah, yeah. so uh, but it's been quite interesting <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so we just so yeah. what you're doing is you transfer the weight and just allow the arms to fall so you allow the arms to drop I'll just show that from the side so they, they fall down and then they come back up again so I learned this exercise from Master Chung who who was one of the Chinese Malaysian Tai right. Chi instructors? Um, so he he learned with a master himself because he had a heart problem yes. when he was quite young. Right. And I think he almost died actually. So the the family mm -hmm. insisted that he went to see the acupuncturist and herbalist. And also went to see an exercise yeah. master, yeah. Yeah. and he he did all that, and then um, he got to a point where his heart condition stopped. But by then he liked the tai chi so much that he became a master as well, yes. and just carried on. Very good. Very yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. Now I was reading about this meditation teacher in America, and he he turned up to this meditation place just for lunch right. and then stayed for 24 years <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so, you know uh, sometimes something yes. gets you four three two and one posture check so it's always good to spend time um i mean i've, I've been doing a little bit more a little bit of performing um and it's always worth, you know, what I'm noticing is between sets and things, yeah. or, you know, if there's a quiet bit, I'll just go, okay, yeah, 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 is that right? Yeah, am I in the yeah. right, you know, or, or am, I, am I nicely lined up right now? I can play, because you can, it's very easy yes. to lose, um, to lose your focus use it and, and, and get distracted. So this is where med meditation and Tai Chi Corresponds because okay. yeah. Um, yeah. you're you're 
you're maintaining your focus. So we'll just do this one. So you just drop and there's a little bit of a, a leg. So when I learned this off Master Chung, he had this little bounce thing. Um, some people that do this exercise kind of poo-poo the bounce. Mm -hmm. um, in which case I'll just do what they're doing. But what I did with Master Chung, he, he had this real sort of springy, springy feeling through the feet as well as the knees. So your feet act as springs. So it, it's biomechanical as well as mental and psychological. Yes, yes, it's quite yeah, interesting. Yeah. So we're just noticing what we're noticing, just keeping calm. So you want to calm the mind. Very useful when driving in snow with the car skidding in London because they'd not got the grit down in time. Oh, right. They did it. I noticed there were the gritters going this morning and I thought, well, that's a bit after the effect, isn't yeah. it? But better late than yeah. But it was, uh, so my car was actually sliding around the road yes, a bit. Yes. And I thought, oh, I know, I'm going to calm down. And then it was much better and I just yeah. enjoy yeah. the experience. And I wasn't going fast enough for the skid to bash into it, you know, it wasn't yeah. like dodgems. Yes. Um, it's surprising the number of people who don't know, have no idea what to do if you get into sliding and skidding and what have you. Mm -hmm. And so you're steering into a skid that gives you brakes very gently. Yeah, yeah. you can't brake fast because that no, will make no, it worse. No, so you just, yeah. just have to do it very gentle. So, uh, four. One and then So yeah, just calming the mind. Just mm. it just gives you a little bit more space. I've noticed mm. if you really practice, because I've been working with a lot of uh, teachers and um, whatever's going on, whatever your internal or external mm. environment. So mm. when um, uh, one of my teachers was talking about your emotions mm. or what what you feel for your, your emotions and things, that's like your weather front right. going past. Yes. And you notice what's happening, and then you just kind of, you know, and it's perfectly fine. Like, um, one, one of the teachers I was listening to, she was saying, well, it's actually okay to get angry and stuff. You just, you know, just experience yes. it, but just give yourself a bit of soften the edges. Yes. And then it just sure. gives you more room. So then you end yeah. up doing a thing called responding rather than reacting. Oh. So. Yeah, it was quite an interesting talk. Oh, right. okay. yeah. 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 So by by calming the mind and having a bit of space mm -hmm. between you mm -hmm. and the stimulus, yes. it gives you time and yes. room yes. to do a more effective response. Okay. Yeah. 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 I think that's what she was saying. I'd have to listen to it again. It was what I was listening to on the way up yeah. Yeah. and down from Glasgow. Yeah. And, um, and I, I liked it so much, I wanted to hear it yeah, again, because okay. there was a lot of common sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, sure. I like yeah. common sense people <laughs> that give practical solutions to things rather than, you know, imagine you're a tree or whatever. I'm not really interested in that. So yeah. four, three, two, one, and then we're wobbling. Wobbling. We're wobbling. Yeah. So this is actually the wobbling I really like. It's very relaxing. Quite hard to do. Yes. Oh, it's got brighter, I think, the sun's coming out. It's got, it seems a bit brighter outside. I mean, the yeah. snow helps. Yeah. Yes, you can probably warm up a bit. Yeah. And then it'll drop later on. And then it'll drop later on, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's why I've had to cancel this evening's yeah. class. Yeah. 
Yeah, it should be a cow in the moment, but it's anyway, so. Yeah. But, uh, I think out here we've only, in about the 30 plus years we've been here, we've only been cut off about twice, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, uh, normally, this, once you get up onto the main road here, it's fine, it's that hill. Get, getting it up to either the slope getting up to it, it's a problem. But, uh, well, that's good. Okay, so we've got a shift. So, what we'll do now is we'll look at all the joints yes. of the body um, and just get them nice and relaxed. I mean, I'm just doing a radiator check. <laughs> They're definitely on. Yeah, yeah. It's just They're not right. doing it right, Doc. They're definitely on. So, uh, okay. It's just quite a big haul. It is, yeah. It's not too badly. Yeah. It means that by the time we got to our tea break, oh, I know, I'll shut that door because it's freezing over there. This is where the back door is. underfoot and notice what you're you're feeling and, and the sound and things and it's it's very good okay in the snow in the snow yeah, yeah. just find some snow and it's really very Fresh. interesting because yes, i yes. was i did it i did some tai chi snow walking this morning i was doing okay. my yeah. i was doing that and i could go <laughs> could yes. feel it and i could feel it as well yeah. as I hear the crunch sounds yes. very interesting sound i wish i'd had my recorder with me i should have recorded it and, and then you just, and uh, if you're feeling reckless, you can even try going backwards, but you go toe heel, maybe, you know, in the snow it might be a bit, but you know, find a nice thick bit, so if you do yeah, fall over, yeah, you won't yeah. get hurt. So, um, yeah. Okay. Let's do some shoulders. So we go up, back, down, round one, two, three, four, five. Same shoulder, opposite direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Other shoulder, check your posture first. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Other direction. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Oh, bird folds its wings. So open the wings. So imagine you've got a, a big beach ball either side of you and you're feeling the circumference of the ball. One, two. takes a seat, I'll just demonstrate. So the hips go back, the hands counterbalance, and it's like your your the hands sort of sweep forward to counterbalance. And then as the hips go back, so you go like this, one, and then you come back. So we'll do a couple of trial ones. Let's 
try another trial run. Okay, now we're going to do six. That was great. What was that called? Monkey King takes a seat. So when, when I did it with Eva, she said it's got a real regal feel. She goes, because you're all a king. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'm a king. So you, when, you, when you get back to the upright position, you want to be, you know, it's a bit like a meerkat. You know, when they, they kind of look around. It's a bit like that. So you're, and also when you're doing this bit, I'm peering over my glasses forward rather than looking down. So I'm looking along. And then I come back, and then you're being a king. That's it. So I, I quite like it because yes, yes. you make it makes you feel good. Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. when I've done it with Emma, and she she talked us through. Okay. Um, and the a lot of movements in Tai Chi very similar um, to folk songs okay. in that they'll refer to some historical right. occurrence or right. some legend or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, like, um, and, and the Monkey King was a kind of cultural yeah, icon yeah. In, in Chinese Because they're sort of protected literature. and esteemed in certain cultures, aren't they? Yeah, 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 and there's a lot of, if you look at the pictures, um, a lot of the Chinese art from like thousands of yeah, years ago and hundreds yeah. of years ago, there'll be a picture of, of the king and, yes. and the Monkey King, and then there's a couple of different kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sort yeah. of very long lived monkeys and some yeah, have got yeah, covered yeah. in white fur and yeah, yeah. and have got quite and have special weapons and things. It's very, very interesting how they Is think of these things. Very Japanese. similar to kind of Roman mythology. Yeah, but yeah. or Japanese mythology. There's a lot of crossover. Is is it the Japanese who've got the monkeys that live in winter in the, in the water? In the hot pools. Yeah, that's so, right. Yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they're they're um, so yeah, let's let's get in touch with our inner regal regalness. So here we go. So we go like that. One. And then what you do is you work towards being able to get into a full squat, but we won't do it uh, this morning because it's a bit, a bit cold. But this is a good one for the lower back. It stretches your lower back. Because you I'll just show from the side. You're counterbalancing. So I'm, you know, obviously my back is never going to be 100% straight because it's got extra bits in my spine extra curves in, but you can still keep a good lengthening through the spine, getting this, and that the hands are counterbalancing. One more time. Oh, I can feel the radiator is working nicely now, it's fantastic, yeah. yeah. So, um, the next one is one that I've done with Mike, who's the head honcho of the school, and Nice and round. And we turn and then we polish the table. So the hands swing in one direction, the hips swing in the other. So there's another counterbalancing and it works your back and then you put it back where you found it. Let's try it the other side. And then what he does is he swaps sides each time. So you turn, um, polish the table and there we go. Right, we'll do that six times. Mm -hmm. One. And just breathe. So it's another one for the lower back. Two. So we go to the side, to the front, to the side, and to the back for the hips. I'll just show that from the side view. So it goes to the side, to the front, to the side, to the back. We're just taking our time, nice and relaxed. Breathing, very good. Some health issues.
issues and are finding it they're getting they're having to wake up in the afternoon a lot. Okay. So you get to my afternoon classes. So oh, uh, good. they watch after they watch they watch the class I do now. Right. After which is fine. They're recorded. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I, I put it on the YouTube channel. Oh, okay, so you can do so that. Then okay. Any, yeah, okay. yeah no, that's, that's fine. But yeah, there's a lot of ailments and things. Change side, change direction. There's a lot of ailments and conditions and things. Yeah. I think, you know, I suspect it's big, as a, as an after effect of possibly the pandemic, because we're all in this right. kind right. of... Right. Is your YouTube one under your name? Or yeah, it? yeah, it's Grey Heron Internal Arts. I'll show you after in the oh, break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The YouTube channel, but they're all every single class I teach okay. that's mixed like this okay. one. Yeah. Um, yeah. On my Friday classes are purely Zoom. Right. Um, yeah, sorry about next Monday, but I'm having to meet my mother in London. That's all right. And, you know, however good I am at Tai Chi, mum comes first. Of course, so, of course. You know, that's it's right, like. Yeah. Okay, I'll cancel everything. No, she's the one person <laughs> I'll cancel everything for. Let's shake out. So that, that helps. So especially in cold weather, the, uh, the other thing, uh, one of my Tai Chi teachers, mm. he used to wear those Japanese garments that are like a pullover, but instead of a pullover, it's just the bit there. It's like a tube thing. Okay. Like a, a okay. like, like those neck warmer things that you wear. But it only comes down. But it, it, it covers here and just under the shoulders. It looks a bit strange. But you want to keep your core in cold weather. You want to keep your the, this bit warm mm. and protect your organs. Okay. So that's why in the summer, a lot of acupuncturists get very angry at women that are wearing crop tops. Yes. Because they're not protecting their internal okay. organs okay. Okay. and it's better you know they, they always yeah. you yeah. want to cover uh, you, you know you get some people that will do things and like the shower yeah. ones they'll yeah. you know, yeah. just be wearing them yeah. over yeah. They, yeah. They, it's hot weather over but um, you can wear and keep in keeping your core so I've got a lot of layers on because yeah. yeah. I'm keeping all this stuff nice and warm and yeah. I've also got my hot yes. uh, flask there just because well, well, should you have a, a break in the middle because that's where your heart is no, it's fine. If you if you just when when they've done it, um, I don't can't remember, but I just remember seeing this teacher wear this strange garment right, okay. uh, on top of his t-shirt. It was a, a and I, I was like, oh, what's that you're wearing? Oh, it's a thing from Japan because my his okay. Tai Chi teacher used to wear one when he went to see him in China. So okay. obviously he copies him. So he it's to it keep the right lower right. back yeah. and the tummy warm. Okay. okay. So it's got like um. Yeah, it's quite yeah, interesting. Because yeah, sure. yeah. then it will keep it will keep your, your stomach warm and your, your kidneys. Okay. Yeah. From because um, uh, cold weather is supposed to affect in Chinese medicine, cold weather is supposed to affect okay. kidneys okay. as well. So, but that's about as much as I understand because I ain't an acupuncturist. So I, I'll ask acupuncturists and say, excuse me, why do you have to protect yeah. the kidneys in cold weather? And then they'll explain it to me. Yeah. And then it's very complicated, and I'll forget what yeah, they've yeah. said. But it's um, the, you've got to be careful about, you know, um, definitely keep your head warm, keep your feet warm, yeah, yeah. and the middle bit warm, and then you're fine. So yeah. if you're a like postman, it's perfectly fine them wearing shorts, as long as their middle's warm. Right. Right. Because you know, right. the legs, they they haven't got any any organs that are important. Yeah. So I found in New Zealand that the, the postman and a lot of our guys uh, wore shorts, but then yeah. eventually you think they wear long trousers. No, they wear long johns underneath their shorts. Yeah, like the footballers, <laughs> yes. yes. Okay, let's do Peng waves its wings. So the Peng is a giant mythological bird, and one wing covers <laughs> half the planet. So there we go. So you turn. Now, when you turn, you want to feel the rotation in the shoulder joint. Mm -hmm. Rotation in the shoulder joint, and then you come forwards and up, so you're feeling it right in the fingers again, and then you rotate in the shoulder joint again to come round. So you're just feeling this rotation. So once you do the initial rotation, you feel the rotation in the, as you go, as it goes up high, and then there's a rotate, 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 and you're feeling it right to the end of the fingers. 
Oh, there's sunshine outside. Those of you watching later on Zoom, look, you can see it. You can see it there. Ooh. Goody. So I shall definitely be going outside for Mike's class. I've got my class and scarf. Uh, I really liked doing the Tai Chi in the snow this morning. It was brilliant. Cause, you know, <laughs> the last time I did Tai Chi in the snow was quite a while back, really. And uh, one more. That's beautiful. And then we go in the other direction. Uh, other arm. Other arm. Same direction, but the other arm. So we're feeling this rotation in the shoulder joint. We're breathing. Relax around the jaw. Relax around the jaw. Feel the lengthening through the spine. A bit better, isn't it? Yeah. Let's let's warm the neck up, uh, and then we'll finish off with the arms. So yeah, yeah. with the neck, you've got to be, especially again in cold weather, you want to ease yourself into more mobility in the neck. So what mm -hmm. I'm doing is I'm just going to the corners, and I'm going to turn with my nose, and then as I get used to it and my neck muscles soften enough, then I can go a little bit wider. But you just want to start small. And you want to build it up. So sink back and down. I'm just going to turn a little bit. And then as the muscles soften, that's when you can go a little bit bigger in the movement. But don't feel obliged that you have to go bigger in the movement. Your neck might just want you to do a smaller movement and that's perfectly fine. It's about improving mobility. So the, the idea with these arts is we gently improve the range of motion in a very kind of understated and soft way and without forcing, without forcing the issue because it, it doesn't really, then it doesn't feel like you're doing anything at all, so. Nice, okay, now we're gonna do the top corners. We're gonna make a circle, semi-circle. Mm -hmm with our nose. So we go to the top corner, we go down, trace the semicircle, and go to the other top corner. And then we go down, and you can do this with your eyes open or closed, whatever works for you best. That's so nice the sun's come out. Oh wow, it's shining, for those of you on Zoom uh, that can't see it, it, the sun is shining off the snow and it looks really lovely. So we just, oh, and then you notice the parts of your spine and places in the body that you can feel the movement through. gentle qigong and some of the silk reading exercises which are very good for working balance. So we just start by, oh we'll shake out the hands first, shake out the hands, like you're shaking water off your hands or you're drying your hands having washed them. So and then we go out and in, one, two, circle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Other way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we forgot that one. One, two, three, four, doing it backwards, six, seven, eight. It's the jazz version. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then shake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we do the big one. So this one's a little bit slower and just relax the shoulders and make a nice round shake in the arms. One. Oh, I like this one. Two. It's quite it's quite positive. It makes you feel a bit positive. Three. Here comes the sun. Here, Here comes, comes the, the sun. sun. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Four. It is definitely got that kind of sense of like, oh, everything's fine now. Six. No, I did this one with Eva and we all felt uh, she goes, this will cheer everybody up. And then we did it and we all felt happy. So we're good. And let's do another one. Nice. Then we go in the other direction just so then it's good for the shoulder mobility. It works your shoulder mobility and it also nice, nicely opens the chest. So, but in a soft way. We're not like forcing again, no forcing. And more. that's it. That's great. Okay, check your posture. And then we roll forwards. Roll forwards. That's it. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the other way. One. When when Barry does this, he does it at like triple the speed. <laughs> so he goes <laughs> like that. But I, I quite like doing the slow, the long winded version. Nice. Seven, eight, and then over and under like that. This one's good for the brain as well as good for the wrists and the hands and the elbows and the shoulders. So it works a lot of things. And then we shake, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, that was an epic warm up, wasn't it? Epic warm up. Good. Yeah, but it's nice because then you, you feel yeah. that your body, yeah. it like feels more awake, doesn't it? Yeah. And more, yeah. Yeah. And, and you can feel, you know, you feel the ground better and actually, um, like, in the olden days, when I was first starting doing Tai Chi, I'd be going, oh, when are we going to do some Tai Chi? But actually, the approach to the exercise is Tai Chi. So moving right. in an embodied, right. connected and mindful way, right. that's Tai Chi. So when you're, when you're playing your, your, your back, uh, baritone horn, very ba 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 um, if you're doing it in good posture, yeah. You're practicing Tai Chi. Obviously, you practice Tai Chi by doing the Tai Chi moves as right, well. Right. So, um, and the instrument itself needs warming up. You know, because yeah. You know, you have to, it's no good when it's cold. It's, it's no good when it's cold, and it's the same with the body. Yes. That's yeah. why, as well as warming your horn up, yeah. you want to warm you up. Yes. Um, yeah. So before I do a gig, mm. or I do a rehearsal, or I do some recording, yes. I will do at least. 20 minutes minimum of at least 20 minutes preferably an hour actually if right. I'm being really right. you know and, and I'll do a little bit at half time okay. as well I'll do maybe yeah. five ten okay. minutes at half yeah. time Good. Uh, and I'll do at least at least 20 minutes yeah. of yeah. warming up all my joints doing some Tai Chi getting myself all nice and mm. nice yeah. and relaxed and really yeah. important because yeah. then when you when you play it works better but yeah. it's not the same just playing an instrument without practicing Tai Chi mm. is as silly as not practicing your instrument and doing Tai Chi all the time. You need to practice mm. yeah, whatever it is you do. Yeah. So uh, there was a guy uh, who plays uh, the giant xylophone thing and he was going, oh, I practice martial arts on my xylophone and I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, it was like, no, you, you still need to practice. So yeah, it's, it's yeah. not like... Yeah. Oh, when I'm singing, I'm doing Tai Chi. Well, you are, yeah. but actually, you need to practice as well. Yeah, and um, sure. yeah, even if it's just five minutes a day. Yeah, sure. So let's just gather around, talking of which. It's been a waffle class. Sorry about that, those of you that are watching on, on YouTube afterwards. Well, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you want to. But you know, in the olden days, I'd go, oh, when are we going to do some Tai Chi? But actually, we'd done it right from the beginning, yeah, and we did the loosening yeah, exercises yeah. and everything like that. But it is nice to do these sorts of moves as well. So we just start with a bit of some simple stuff, and we don't look at the, the silk weaving. 
So by being firmly planted to the ground, you're working your balance. So we do do exercises where we stand on one leg and yeah, go from one foot yeah. to the other. They work your balance. Everything works your balance. <laughs> so it's okay. How many tickets does she lose for special occasions? I mean, like this festival or what have you? Um, not that I'm aware of. They do do in China. They will get people that do a demonstration of Tai Chi. Okay. And it will be whatever style they practice. And then right. they'll do the main form from that okay. style. And there'll okay. be the music going. Yeah. Uh, I mean, for things like special occasions, what they tend to do is the lion dances and the dragon dances. Right. Be it so the weddings or yeah, festivals or they'll like get or they'll things. get people doing. Those sort of, that's like the equivalent of t a Chinese Morris dancing. Okay, right. So, from what I understand, I mean, this is probably, you know, uh, you can only understand things from the culture right, yes. that I've kind of vaguely come from. Yeah. And, um, and and you'll get the lion dancers and the, they tend to get dragged yeah. out yeah. and all kind of significant, like the New Year or right. if there's a... Um, yeah. There we go, we're doing wild goose flies, uh, Chinese New Year, or, you know, weddings and things. So uh, one of my friends uh, was a lion dancer. He was the only, he was a massive ex-miner from Barnsley, and all the other guys were smaller Chinese people. But he was so good at his kung fu that they wanted him to join the lion dance troupe. His muscles were so built up. Yeah, but it's there. just the height difference was always quite amusing. I think they used to stick him. I think he had to be either be in the front or the back or something to not mess it up for the smaller right, people. Because he was taller than them. He was taller than them. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah but a, a professional, uh, the, the, some of them professional lion dance troops. So or you get the yeah. drummers. Um, you know, it's, it's mm. very good. But yeah, it, I kind of saw it as an equivalent of Morris dancing on May Day and right. Plough Monday and stuff. You know, when you get the Plough yeah, Monday yeah. Morris dancers yeah. doing, um, it's got that kind of a feel to it. <laughs> you know. Yes. Sort of, and then cross the hands, and then we part the clouds. So just make a nice round shape. Breathe in. Breathe out. Yeah, I did put some water in the kettle to boil it, and, okay, I'm, uh, we'll get that going and then I must remember to get the hot chocolate out of the car right. and, and put it in our cupboards so I don't... Uh, <laughs> so we just do this, just breathe in, breathe out. So it's nice round shape in the arms, and then this one also is a good one for chests. Mm. So um, yeah, let's just relax, that's good. Take a slightly wider stance and we're just going to transfer the weight, transfer the weight. Relax around the jaw, sink the hips back. Now, now I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, is it Pam or what's the lady with the white hair called? What in the group here? Yeah. I don't know. Norma. 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 Norma and Ron, they probably stayed put because they both have to drive in, don't they? Yeah, I think all of them drive in. Yeah, they all drive in apart from. I mean, the good thing about Barton is they can all walk in, so they'll just yeah. slide in. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm the yeah, only one who drives. Yeah, we're the one of the few who leave. Yeah, that, so. so it's it's fine. So I wouldn't be. I mean, I because of the drive around London yesterday, I'm quite cool about driving in the. Right. So and yeah, also yes. that whoever's been, um, they've got rid of most of the snow that was on the road. Yeah, yeah. They've obviously been round at yeah, some just point. Just the traffic on the road will wipe it out. Because I noticed the um, there was evidence of they've obviously been around with the salt. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So that's good. So we just transfer the weight, and now that's the weight of leg. You want to sink your weight into the weight of leg. Now the other knee is still in line with the toes, and then you transfer the weight.
open up the wrist transfer the weight and turn transfer the weight and turn so this is called the bear or also called Constance bear I was told that they when um because I knew, knew it as the bear right. from Master Chung in Malaysia from Malaysia but Pete, uh, Mark Peters, the head honcho of the uh, Tai Chi Union, when he trained in Malaysia, they all knew it as Constance Bear. Constance. Like, Constance, you know, <laughs> Constance the Bear. So, um, I think I prefer the Bear. Yes, yes, yes. It's a bit... So, you imagine the great big panda bears are swinging. Yeah. Feel the ground under your feet, that's great. Okay, now put your hand on your waist, or you can also put it on the upper thigh, and then we're just gonna do the silk breathing. Go one, two, three, four. One, I'll turn around. Two, three, four. One, sit down, that's it. Two, transfer the weight. Three, turn the waist. Four, transfer the weight. One, turn the weight. Two, transfer the weight. Three, turn the waist. Four, transfer the weight. One, down. Two, come in. Two, come in at the bottom. Three, up. Four, go out at the top. One, two, three, four. Super hips. One, two, three. change the arm. So I'm using my left arm, you use your right arm, we go down, we come in, we come up, we go out. Go down, in, up, out. Down, in, up, out. Down, do the opposite um, hand, so like this, you turn, raise the palm up, left hand palm up, you transfer your weight, you turn, the hand comes down, you transfer your weight, you turn, the palm comes up, you transfer your, someone's let a draft in, oh. <laughs> so that's it, that's it, up, that's it, and then down, Cross and up. That's it. So you put, put the pivot on the elbow. Yeah, sorry, I've not got my t shirt on today. I'm too cold. Especially, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone's come in and I've just felt this. Did you feel it? This no, draft no, no, coldness no. permeate. <laughs> And then what we'll do is we'll do a bit of white tape off the sprue to finish off, which is good fun. Okay, now try it with the other hand. So you put your weight on that leg, you turn, raise the palm up, as if you've got a mirror there and you're just checking your teeth or something. Then you go down, then you go across, and then you go up, across, down, across, up, across, down.
and sink your hips. Sink your hips. There we go. Two. We'll do five in this direction, unless I lose count. Three. Four. Five. And then we go in the other direction. Yeah, on Friday I was, I was teaching my 24-step class at, at nine in the morning that morning. And we did it for the third time, but I missed a bit out and then had to turn around. But it's really funny. Four, five. But the important thing is you just relax. Okay, so for our grand finale, before we stop and warm up for tea, uh, we're going to do white eight offers fruit. I will demonstrate. We're going to do the walking version. So just let me demonstrate. So you start in left cat start, right hand on top, left hand underneath. And then what we do is we step, part the wild horse's mane. So right hand, so just watch, just watch for now. Demonstration observe. Right hand on top, left hand underneath. You step, heel toe, transfer the weight, part the wild horse's mane. So you're in the front foot, stay in the front foot, open slightly, feel a stretch, close the stretch, let the stretch go. So, so it's like stretching an elastic band and then allowing the elastic band to twang. And then you sink back, fan out, sink forward, hold the pearl, sink back. Well, I guess that's the fruit. And then you do it the other side, let me show you the other side. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. There we are. Brilliant. Right, let's let's go back a bit. I'll go right on the edge there. Let's go back a bit. We'll just go for a little walk and then we'll, we'll finish off. So cat stance, left cat stance. That's it. So a little bit more forward and a bit closer into that foot. That's it. So you want to bend that other leg. So this foot comes in. Right hand on top, left hand underneath. Breathe in and out, then step with the left foot, heel toe, transfer the weight, open, four, five, six, So yeah, when you step, heel, toe. Heel, toe. Right. Heel, toe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go forward, go into cat stance. Cat stance. That's it. So you want to bend that other leg, bend both yeah. legs. That's it, and then that means you've got a, you right. want no weight on that cat stance leg. 80-20. Okay. 80-20, okay. that's it. Left hand on top, right hand underneath. Heel, toe. Then you transfer the weight. Part the wild horse in there. Your weight is on your front foot, 60-40. Turn a bit. Feel that stretch, Re release the stretch. Now it's more like 70 30. Transfer the weight 60 40. Transfer the weight forward 60 40. Transfer the weight back 60 40. 70 30. Turn the foot out, that's it. Now you sink forward. Tra transfer the weight, raise the foot, bring the foot in. Cat stance, so you settle in left cat stance for a bit, sink the hips, relax the shoulders, open the palms of the hands, both legs bent, so 80, 20, then you step, heel, toe, transfer the weight, transfer the weight, open, down, sink back, sink forward, Back and cat stance. Great. Okay, let's let's go back again. Uh, what we're going to do is look at the 
basic Tai Chi walking, just to finish off. Um, so that is you go cat stance, heel, toe. Transfer the weight, cat stance, heel, toe. Transfer the weight, and from the front it looks like this. Cat stance, heel, toe. Transfer the weight, cat stance, heel, toe. Transfer the weight, cat stance. That's it. Let's try that out for a bit. So let, let's go back a bit. I'll go back as far as I can. So start with left, cat stance. Heel, toe. Transfer the weight. Right cat stance. Heel, toe. Transfer the weight. Left cat stance. Nice and tall. So you're looking forwards. Look forwards. Feel it through the feet. Heel, toe. Transfer the weight. Cat stance. Looking directly ahead. Feel with your feet. Heel, toe. Transfer the weight, cat stance. So allow yourself to settle. Both knees are slightly bent. Heel, toe, transfer the weight, cat stance. One more time. Heel, toe, transfer the weight, cat stance. Great. Let's come round in a triangle, I guess. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, because it's, it's nearly tea time. Right. But yeah, being walking. That kind of walking practice is brilliant for balance. Okay. Yeah, yeah, work yeah, balance. Yeah, yeah. And then and then what happens is you do that and then you go backwards as well. And now when you go backwards it's toe heel. But there's we'll wait for the rest of the gang to turn up in the new year. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this class restarts on the 9th, the 9th of January. We'll be back. Um, and then what you can do is then you, you develop it to do things like walking like a cat. So that's one where you lift your cat paw and then do the same exercises that we were doing, but with a cat paw lift. And it looks a bit like John Cleese then, you know, when he was yeah. developing. Uh, yeah, and then and then you do it backwards as well. Yeah. So and then the way Emma does it, she has the foot hanging down, so the toes point down, so you get a nice stretch on your ankle as well. Yeah. And that, that does that. But the basic one is like this. You just go heel toe to go forwards, heel toe to go forwards, and then toe heel to go back. Now I have done it the other way, but the basic way, this is the basic way. So you get the basic first, then you can start messing around with things. Uh, and then you do things like doing doing it with arm movements, just to give your arms something to do, because sometimes you'll, you, you'll feel that you want to do something with your arms. So once we've done that, and that's, that's how we develop, and they're really brilliant, they're brilliant for balance. Really good for balance. Okay, let's go back to this one. So if you put the kettle on while I go and find the hot chocolate, right, okay. that would be really useful, good. and then I'll, I'll grab that chair and Rule five, know when it's tea time. Very important. Time for tea. Time for tea, yeah. So rule number one, calm the mind. Rule number two, sink the hips. Rule number three, breathe. Rule number four, practice. And rule number five, know when it is tea time. And then you've got the whole of the system sussed. So me and uh, Master Chung, we'd stop for tea every now and then. He'd go, hmm, time for tea, and then we'd, we'd stop, and we'd drink proper Chinese tea with the proper cups and everything, and then he'd go, right, we train again, and it was, <laughs> it was very, I loved it, I absolutely loved it, so it, it was obviously a very important thing for Tai Chi training, having tea breaks, so uh, yeah, just going back to that. Tea Chi. Mm. Yeah, tea Chi, yeah. yeah. Or we, we did it uh, at the care home, uh, the, the dementia place I was working at, and we did Tai Chi at high tea, because I had high tea yes, after right, Tai Chi, because right. they had the cups and the doilies and the cakes and things, it was brilliant, and proper, really posh, posh cups and saucers, and right. scones with clotted cream and jam and that, <laughs> so um, I was, that was great, I was like, oh no, this is good, this is good, very civilised. Okay, let's do plum 
one blossom falls left and right. So this is another one that works the balance and you're just transferring the weight from one foot to the other, transfer the weight. And the arms just float down. Like, well, you would have seen it with the snowflakes. Mm. When you watch the snowflakes drift down, actually, it's like, it's a similar kind of movement to when you get them and they just kind of circle, spiral downwards. And uh, yeah, I was surprised there wasn't more snowmen out, snow people, I mean, snow persons. Snow beings. Nice. Okay. And then embrace the tiger. Return to the mountain. So you're embracing your vibrant energy and you're returning to the mountain, which is code for a place of strength, stability, peace and stillness. It's got this real, you know, solid feel. Embrace the tiger, return to the mountain. I, I like the image of someone kind of cuddling a tiger and taking it back to their mountain, their mountain house. I think that sounds lovely. <laughs> you know, it's got a kind of Winnie the Pooh kind of feel, isn't it? And then one more time. And then what we do is rub the hands together. And polish the face. Rub the hands together. So the lower back, that's where your kidneys are. So they have a lot of massaging areas, but um, it's to give energy to the kidneys. Because um, they don't just see the organ, they, they have these meridian things mm. as well. So mm. it's to do with that. Again, ask an acupuncturist. They know many things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of things. Yeah, and, and that once I've got my next, um, I've got some more case studies to do for mm. a, a qualification I'm doing. Once I've got that out of the way, I'll go back to looking at sort of Chinese Chinese medicine for idiots course would be quite yes. useful because it is very relevant to Tai Chi because obviously that's the the medicine they do Western medicine as well in China but in the hospitals there they have the chemotherapy and the Qigong master mm. working with the patients so they will therapy yeah yeah they therapy. got the and the herbalist and the medicine and they they kind mm. of combine them in a really interesting way and yeah. they they have the exercise specialists that will be with the cancer patients, making them do exercise at horrible o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. My friend um, did his um, did a secondment in a proper Chinese okay. hospital okay. many years ago, but uh, he's, a, he's an acupuncturist down south. Okay. But it was very, he found it a very okay. mind-blowing experience. Okay. But uh, here we go again. But uh, yeah, they're a lot more integrated with the exercise and mm. medicine and diet. They, they look at it. One more time. Embrace the tiger. Return to the mountain. Nice and tall. Just relax the body. Fullness in the body, and then make a fist with the right hand, left hand over the top, feet together, and back. Brilliant. Brilliant. Well done, us. Fantastic. Okay, Great. right, I'll, I'll stop the, yeah, if you can put the kettle on, that'd be grand, and then we'll have a tea break. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. And 9th of January, we restart.